We invited 11 players to a virtual mansion to battle in a series of mind games. Every episode, these players will face off in a trial. The trial winner will receive marks of victory to give away to other players, and the trial loser will pick someone without a mark of victory to take to the duel. The duel loser will be eliminated. First eliminated was Grunkle, who will be eliminated next. What's up, Shub? We're first here. Yeah, we are. And after uh, our last trial, it's good to still be here, actually. Yeah, yeah, for sure. The first trial is Red, Blue, Gold game. In Red, Blue, Gold game, players will play Red, Blue, and Gold cards in one versus one game. Like, trust me, we have an unbeatable strat. I guarantee you'll be a winner, like almost for sure. Joey has won the trial. Alex, Grunkle, Nolux, and Shub are tied for last place. Joey selects Grunkle to be first duelist. Sadly, we did lose one of our own. Uh, hopefully yeah. we can both survive this time. That was such a bold move by him going after Kathy. He did it because he thought that was like the safest play, but Kathy kicked his ass. The first duel will be all in Coopspiel. In all in Coopspiel, Players will use cards in their hand to earn points by constructing numbers larger than their opponent. I'm unsteady, but I'm confident. I know that I can win. I just don't know what the path to winning will be. Kathy has won the duel with 28 points, and Grunkle has been eliminated from the Gambit game. No, there's a reason why Kathy <laughs> is the oldest member of our cast, and it's because she knows what she's doing. Yeah, uh, I She think... might struggle a bit with the tech, but right. she's a gambler. Everybody left seems like they've got a good head on their shoulder. Speaking yeah. of good head on their shoulder, here comes Alex. Our fellow, uh, people. Ah, crap, I think so. They brought us all here first, so are we gonna are we gonna try to keep the band together in some capacity? I, I think we gotta. And I will say I feel the strongest about the two of you, and I don't know if Joey will wind up being more of a liability than a help. Joey, at this early stage in the game, I think he's definitely a big character. He's yeah. a big personality, and I'm wondering how much the three of us can use that to our advantage. Here's another big personality. Big advantage here. is bad. <laughs> I would say one of the other biggest personalities from the first match here. Do you know at all what's happening with Ben? He's going crazy. I'm going to buy red cards and try and con people into dueling and losing. Zach, I recommend you just play. Okay, have you got, is it seriously blue? Have you got blue as your last? Yes, I do. Ben has played a red and Zach has played a blue. Great alliance, guys. Great alliance. What yep. this <laughs> <to applaud you. laughs> We're killing it. Can you remind me, Ben, before this oh, uh, yeah. next trial gets started off, who was, and I know you were one of them, who was the other person that you said that also tried to do something sneaky in that in that first one there? Seven played Reds. Yeah. But yeah, okay. Neither me or Seven came top of our group. Here's the man who did. Spicy was Spicy. The, I see. The, the, I, I, I wasn't party. catching any 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 dirty talk there, was I? You have no idea the levels of shade I was just throwing you away then. <laughs> he said you were doing pretty well in the arcade. That's that's uh, that's what we heard. Oh, we didn't. We all we remember is that we all scored two and Joey got sixty, <laughs> and there was a bunch of other numbers that we didn't even look at. To be totally honest, I'm just gonna say right now that I don't want. I, I don't know how much the game will necessitate a repeat, but I don't want this whole side thing to last past one. Game. No, I, I think that was and just yeah. a one round thing. Yeah, I, I just wanted to make sure, just just you know, because I'm not sure how much Ben talked about it, and also yeah, we have na nations here. There's some nations. If you see the names of the rooms have been renamed, Leanne, Spicy was the first to spot it. Oh, yeah. Tiny nation, small nation, big nation. Oh, I wonder what's going to happen. Welcome, Devin. Yeah, hey, Devin. Hey, everybody. Hello, guys, gals, non binary pals. The last two entrances here, we've got our episode one hero and our episode one, one of our episode one villains. Joey. 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 The Alliance is going for a joint win this time. <laughs> Kathy, your camera's off. Okay, hang on. Here she is. Oh my oh, god. Yeah. Okay, every this is a joint win already.
Hello and welcome to the second episode of The Gambit Game. Last week, Joey won the trial and Klinko and Cassie faced off in the duel. With Klinko's elimination, this brings us down to 10 players. The Light Spear totals are as follows. Joey has 6 Light Spears, Cassie has 5 Light Spears, Zach has 3 Light Spears, Ben, Leon, and Spicy all have 2 Light Spears, and Alex, Devin, Nolok, and Shove all have one light spear. I will now introduce the second trial. The second trial is United Taxations. In United Taxations, players will sell plutonium across four different nations in order to earn the most money. United Taxations will last four rounds. Each round will consist of two phases, the travel phase and the sell phase. During the travel phase, Players will have 8 minutes to select which nation they wish to go out of the following. Huge nation with a capacity of 4, big nation with a capacity of 3, small nation with a capacity of 2, and tiny nation with a capacity of 1. If the number of players who travel to a nation exceeds a nation's capacity, all players in that nation will be charged $1,000 for each extra player present. If a player travels to no nation, they were given a $3,000 penalty. During the sell phase, players will have 4 minutes to discuss a price with the others in the same nation before privately submitting a plutonium price. Players may submit 1000 2000 3000 4000 or $5,000 as their selling price. The nation will buy the same number of goods as there are players in the room. However, the nation will only buy from the players who offer the lowest price. If multiple players offer the same price, then the nation will buy plutonium from players equally. Any remainder will be discarded. At the end of each round, the selling price in each location will be announced along with the player's earnings for that round. Each player starts with one shrink. Each player may also spend two light spheres to buy a secret. A shrink permanently decreases a nation's capacity by one person. A shrink must be used during the travel phase and will be announced at the start of the sell phase. A secret makes the selling price in the nation of a user's choice secret for one round and must be used during the sell phase. The player who uses a shrink or secret will remain anonymous. At the end of the trial, all players' earnings will be revealed. The player with the most money after these four rounds will receive three marks of victory. Each player will receive one light spear for every $5,000 they earn. The player with the least money will be the first duelist and must select someone else to take the duel. Um, so now the planning phase will start. Now you guys can move to the other rooms or only stay in here if you have questions, please. Okay. All right, 10 minute playing. 10 minutes, come back here after. Good luck, everybody. If anybody wants to go luck, into a warehouse, just to kind of clarify and, and go over some of this, I'll, I'll be over there. I'm confused, maybe you guys so, can enlighten me? The object of the game is to get as much money as possible. We are trying to sell. Mm -hmm. You right. can go to any nation, mm -hmm. and each nation has a limited capacity. So tiny nation one, small two, big three, huge four. Okay. Any person over that capacity, Everybody gets charged one thousand dollars in excess. Now, yeah. question: How many rounds are there? Four rounds. Once we have everybody traveling to each nation, mm -hmm. they will be able to sell mm -hmm. for any interval of one thousand, anywhere from one to five thousand. Okay. And the nation will purchase one unit per person that showed up. If we mm -hmm. all ten end up in huge nation, huge nation has a limit of four. So we are six in excess. We will mm -hmm. each be fined six thousand dollars. Okay. But Huge Nation will purchase ten plutonium from whoever gives them the lowest price. So okay. If all ten people put five thousand. They'll buy one from each person for five thousand. Uh, if one person though submits four thousand and everybody else submits five thousand, they will mm -hmm. buy ten units at four thousand from that one person. So what do you recommend? I mean, I'm always picking people's brains. Realistically, we don't know. Yeah. Um, every yeah. person has a shrink, which can be used either maliciously or not yeah. uh, to try and cause bigger fines to happen and to disincentivize people from going there. 
Okay. For example, you can go ahead and you can shrink Tiny Nation so that anybody who goes there loses 3,000 automatically. But that would also mean like if you're the only person who goes there, you can sell for 5,000, lose 1,000, you get 4,000 in excess. This seems like a uh, trial that's going to not be too strenuous. It's gonna be a lot of talking, sure. But at the end of the day, how much is all on the line here? This trial, it's honestly such a mess. I'm not sure who's gonna win, who's gonna lose. I have no clue who has those points. Oh my God. The game has now begun. Each player will have eight minutes to choose the nation they will travel to. Hey, I'm trying to work out what's happening here. Pre-game, I was talking to whoever was around. I started talking to Lux. I think that trial number two is all about trust. And hopefully during the first trial, I proved that I'm a trustworthy person. To reference the genius, this game was a game for partners. Yeah. Um, this was a game where, where groups of two were able to win the main match. I was able to build trust with a few people that I didn't in the first trial, uh, namely Zach. My gameplay really in this is to try and form as many bonds with people, meaningful relationships as I can. So one, they are open to working with me. And two, if for whatever reason, they get to be the first duelist, that they don't pick me. I do feel like Ben is going to wind up going to the duel in this trial. I think I can be charming enough that it hopefully will not be me. We should try to find Ben to at least talk with him, Zach. Ben, I heard you don't have the greatest track record. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not using, I don't think anyone in here is using secrets. We're really looking here to like maximize value. So like the second you like screw anybody over in this room, like we're just instantly not gonna work with you. That's gonna be the end of it. So I think you're incentivized to want to work with everybody in here. Do you disagree? I, I, I... <laughs> because you seem to screw for Kathy for like two points last time. Ben is not on our side whatsoever. Ben will say he's on our side so he can get an advantage, but he is actually the, he's the person who I want out now, not Joey. Because although Joey did a short-sighted plan that screwed over his entire alliance, what I realize is if I go to Joey and I say, hey, Joey, do you want to work together? Joey will probably say yes. I trust both of you. Yeah, I got the best plan here is just to say, we're going to do the big nation and then okay. we don't have to worry about it. You think, see, I was thinking that we would say, we, like, we'll go to the small nation. Because you want to like, you really want to disincentivize people from coming on after us, right? And so yeah. like, so like, sure, we'll lose minus 1k, but we'll, we'll all bid 5k and we'll get 4k easy. If I go to Ben and say, hey, Ben, do you want to work together? Ben will say yes, but he will only do what's in his own best interest. Ben will always do Yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not, I'm not going to be, I'm probably don't, don't trust Ben based on If you're in a room with Ben, offer one, just, just straight up. My plan has worked wonderfully thus far, which is to completely throw Ben under the bus. So I just wanted to let you know that I think he's going to always do a one. I think he is oh, yeah. always going to do one. I wanted to say these things behind closed doors, get everybody thinking, well, Ben, 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 you know, Ben, I'm not sure about it. And now everybody knows. Ben isn't always the most trustworthy person. Now, I like having Ben in this game. He brings attention off of maybe me or Joey, you know, the people that I want to keep in the game, the people that I'm allied with. It keeps the attention off of us to get picked in duels and people are going to pick Ben. So I I don't really have any qualms with Ben in the game as long as he's not screwing me over. And I told him that. I see he was like, Ben's gonna screw us all over. So if you're in a room, just do one. <laughs> Ben, I don't oh, no. know. I feel like yeah. we can only train the first round, though. I'm a bit worried because everyone thinks I'm really untrustworthy from week one. Poor Ben. Ben, you got it. So I think something that might happen is that if you're in a room with at least him, I think he's going to... I think Spicy's gonna try to just do 1,000 in that room if he, you're in the room with him. He screwed, he, he got more points than me last time. He screwed me. I know, Don't let I him know tell he you did. That. I know, I saw, I saw, I saw. I still, I still, I, I still don't know how that happens. <laughs> Yeah, well, obviously I I've never worked time. with you, Ben. I've never, like, I, we didn't- Well, he screwed me over if you wanted proof. So, but <laughs> I, 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 I don't, 
I don't hold anything against you because I haven't had like you haven't screwed me ever. So no, no, not yet. I'm not gonna like just hundred. <laughs> Well, I mean, I'm not saying that he's never gonna do it. No. Like that'd be foolish. Oh. Like, no one yeah, I treat each game different, so I'm yeah. like, whatever. Let's see what develops as it goes on. No one seems to trust me anyway. So, <laughs> but the great thing is, is they don't know they're in a room with me until I walk in. We got it. We got it. All right, five, five across the board. Five okay, across. so listen. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course. Obviously. So we're we're just gonna all go five k. And, and listen, if we can keep doing this, just us go into the small nation over and over, like nobody will catch us. And then so Kathy. Like, listen. So and then we get like the earnings. Obviously, we're gonna keep the earnings after each round. And like, if we start building a lead, we just do this and we get the joint win and it doesn't even matter. All right, I don't know how we wound up in the in the biggest one by ourselves. Yeah, I'm just waiting for more people appearing. I don't think so, I think everybody's been- Jesus. Busy. Obviously, go for five, there's yeah. no reason. Totally, totally, yeah. Okay, well, I've used my shrink on Tiny. That means Ben probably went to Tiny and got shrunk. I really want to go to Tiny Nation just because um, I love detective shows and um, that sounds interesting, but the fact that there's only a capacity of one. Well, I love detective shows. <laughs> All right. Devin, Ben, you guys are both the only two who used reds without announcing it last time. I'm going to ask you, 5,000, do you want to screw me and Alex over? I have no, no. Uh, this is probably, I was, I'm was i less confident in this game than I was in, in the first one. I have no. I, I see no benefit to not going for five right now. I think yeah. we're in a good spot. I, I think this is the round to make money. I think later on. Yeah, this, this is the round where you guarantee that you aren't duelist, and then rounds three and four are the ones where you start to like see some underhanded plays. I'm going to be dandy as long as I can just not be the worst person in this, which shouldn't be too hard to do. I'm not like an idiot or anything, so I think I can handle that. Not to say that the person that gets last is an idiot. They're just not as smart as me. I will now announce the selling prices for round one. I got screwed by picking the first room that I picked. I am in a sticky situation, potentially. As far as how I'm feeling right now, I'm not confident. Not confident. Somebody played a secret on Big Island. And so somebody with all four plutoniums in play could have made out with $16,000. Devin, did you actually bid five? I did. Yeah. I did bid five. So. Yeah. If all four of us bid, or all three of us bid five. You guys bid five? The rule was if you're in the room with Ben, you bid one. That was the rule, wasn't it? Nobody <laughs> told me that. I think you shrunk our room, me, Kathy, and- uh, Because he uh, knew we were going in there. He yeah. knew. Yeah. Because Joey told him we were going in there. So, uh, if yeah. I ever am in a room with you guys and Ben, and I say, remember the strategy, we're bidding one. Ben is now trying to do uh, damage control with Alex. People might have been trying to put this on you, and I don't want to like come into it thinking that Ben is necessary, like that you're necessarily doing it. So, like, I like, what do you think that we should even do at this point? I think I'm the obvious person to put something on, like super obvious. Not everyone can afford a secret. That's a good point. Who who's got money for a secret? Mm -hmm. um, well, they were saying that you have money to do it, which is why they were trying to pin it on you. I, don't, no, I, I wouldn't. I have got two lights for this, but I didn't do it. He's the he's the only one that could have used a secret because no one else in that group had more than one light. I don't light think that's. I yeah. don't think that's true. For what it's worth, I don't think that's true. I think there's someone else talking to Ben right now that could have used a secret. Uh, ben, can I talk to you in warehouse? Do you think Joey and Ben are working together? 
I think that even if you're not working with Ben, playing a secret on Ben's room to make him look even more suspicious is a pretty heads up play. Get out of my big alliance! <laughs> Joey, you want to hop over to the warehouse quickly? Just yeah, sure. Talk I'll about go with you guys. Ah, killing it, Kathy. I think this game's yeah. more reactive than people are giving it credit for because ultimately we don't know who's in our room until we get there. Yeah, we can. The problem is, is you mm -hmm. can't really do an alliance the same way because you can't like group four or five people together and go to a room because that's bad for you. I don't. I don't. I, I don't know if the other group. I don't know if there was another group because I was talking. And I talked to every single person at some point. I don't think that anyone had a specific plan. I was if Ben is there, do we go low? If Ben's there, you have to bid one. You have to. Yep. You have to. You have to bid one. Yeah. No. All right. I'm off to and the uh, pool hall. Sounds good. And I right. check Tiny here. Uh, Zach. I mean, we're in we're in like such a good spot. We really just yeah. have to not piss anybody off, basically. Precisely. Yeah. Um. Who's okay? One of us should leave to try to cover more distance and tell people we're in Big Nation. I guess I'll go around, or okay. or we can both. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. I'm gonna try to tell people we're in Big. I think I've got a good shot. Potentially no luck. Well, I've done well as well because he and I have been working really closely together. The question really depends on what happened in round one because of that secret. <laughs> I don't know how we did that. I don't know how we did that. I'm not, I'm not complaining. I am, I am not complaining. Okay, Phil, extra five grand. Hey, Alex. You promise that you're not gonna screw me up, right? No, I'm not. I I want the maximum amount. And there's there's uh -huh. no reason. Um, so high five. Yeah. And we'll each profit three thousand, I believe. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. You need to come up with a new strat. This is not working. Yeah. I mean, we're just gonna have to split up, perhaps after this. All right. Oh, we got one more. Whoa. All right. Here we are. Us again. Oh, who played that secret? That's what I want to know. Well, it's got to be you unless somebody what outside of the islands did. Because you're the only person in Big Nation that had two light spheres. No, 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 no. Because... Zach, Zach went off with someone and they could easily have given one to someone else. I haven't, I've got to, you have to understand, right? Everyone thinks I'm public enemy number one. We just need to, we just, it's beneficial to all of us to play five because it takes people off the bottom and it maybe pushes the traitor into first. So let's just, let's just all play five rounds. And honestly, Devin, if you don't trust yeah. Ben, uh, we could play three instead and try and undercut his undercut. Because going one right away is just going to minimize profits for anybody. What? But it's a race to the bottom. Let's. Yeah. So. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't know what to suggest. I. I'm getting. I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. I will now reveal the results of round two. I think I got nothing. I oh, think what? we got nothing. Wait, what happened? So I was in a room with Ben and Chewbacca. Oh gosh. Oh yeah. And, um well didn't you hear show the thing? About one thousand no matter what? Because that's the thing, is that they got three thousand for that round, but I put in three thousand as my bid. Oh. Yeah. I was open with it. What? what are you? <laughs> go go what? one. Go one if you don't trust. And, Go one if you don't trust. Well, and we've made it clear that you can't be trusted. Okay, but then that's not making you any money. That's not gonna. That's not gonna help. It you made me three k. It made you three k, but that wasn't a lot compared to most people. It's more than I made last round. Okay. With my minus one, somebody else can win this trial for all I care. I just don't want to be another uh, dual competitor. 
Hi, Devin. Yeah. I'm sorry. Hey. I thought I told you to go through the strat. If Ben's there, you have to bid one. You have to. Yeah. Yep. You have to. You have to bid one. No. No, <sighs> we, we had that old huddle this side conversation, but that's weird. Like in the numbers, it said that like you won, I, I won 3,000 because I got all three sales at 1,000. Oh, oh. Okay. okay. Oh, that's how it works. Okay. Yes. And so basically the only time that anybody has not bid 5,000 has been secret or that time, which is why people yeah. got a little confused. Yeah. Oh. That so, makes a little bit more sense. I just, yeah. yeah. And I, yeah. I, because of that conversation with Ben was so intense and I'm in such a hole right now. I'm sorry about like, that. I didn't no. want to like throw you under the bus. I was like, remember, just like, just play the strategy, just play the strategy. And the strategy is to bid 1K with Ben. Before anyone comes in, who's got shrinks? Uh, I have a, I have a shrink still. Uh, oh, I have There's too many people joining. Uh, okay. Um, what's up, guys? Yo, Ben, come to the warehouse real quick. Uh, Alex, I'm gonna talk to you in a second. Okay. It really bothered me. It really bothered me that everyone was calling other people out to other rooms and no one ever was like, Alex, hey, you wanna go talk together? Do you want to go do that? No, it doesn't happen for me. Oh, Lux, should we go to Tiny Nation just to have a quick chat? Zach, can I talk to yeah. you in the detective's office quickly? I feel like this whole round I was on an island alone trying to figure out what I was gonna do and I got screwed over. Let's go to the warehouse. Warehouse, chill. <laughs> Kathy, no. hey Kathy, how are you doing? It's really not great things happen to me. Three, okay, can you guys tell me what to do? Because no one's telling me shit this round. Okay. Just, um, I want to know what to do. That's that may not be a bad idea. That may not be bad. <laughs> okay. Alex, huge, and Zach and I can go tiny, or we can split up Zach and I for the first time. Yeah. Look, if you guys want me to go huge, I can go huge. I don't just a heads up, I feel like Ben is going to play either big or huge just because he yeah. well, has the chance yeah. to hit the most people. If Ben does that, then we undercut and we go one ground. Yeah. Kathy, where are you going to go? Kathy's mic isn't working. Hold up fingers, Kathy. Yeah. So, Kathy. one for huge, huge, two for big, big three small, for small, tiny. Tiny. Big. 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 Okay, okay. Big. Given my circumstances, I did the best that I could, but I'm very worried about the dynamics. I think that I should be safe, but I don't know. Tell me I didn't get Ben again. Please tell me I didn't get Ben again. Kathy, I love this group. Oh my God, I can finally bid 5,000 and actually get it. I'm putting 5k right now and then I'm going to take this time to quickly go to the bathroom. That's how much I trust you guys. Oh man, all right guys, like, what do you want to do? You want to do like 5k? Dude, I think like 4k is like maybe like, let's do 4k because we know we can both trust each other. Okay, yeah dude, 4k. We have to do 5,000 or else it's not worth. If we all do five, um, we'll get at least one thousand. Uh, Devin is really hurting, so I guess Devin, are you tempted to do less than that? If you say four and Leanne and I both say five, then you score twelve thousand minus four. You score eight thousand for this round. I don't care either way. I'm doing pretty good with Zach. If you want to screw me over, I think it'd be nice if you let Leanne know here. No, I mean, I've had nothing but good experiences with Leanne, so I'm. Yeah. I've. Yeah, you know, there's, I there's a, a, a fair amount of, of. We're all of going trust five in then. This space. I'm okay with that. I I just want money. I'm just gonna be honest. I want money. I don't want to screw people over or whatever. Um, I don't. I think there's a whole narrative about we need to do one if we're in the room. Then I don't give a shit about that because I want money. Um. Zach, how are you feeling? Um, I'll be honest, part of me is still tempted to go one. The thing is, as Ben, last time, as much as we're like, this is clear, part of me is like, I've been burned by you before. Have you got red? I've got a blue. Okay. Ben has played a red and Zach has played a blue. I get that, Zach, right? But I did also offer to save you last time if I won. I know, that is true, that is true. I'll tell you what, I am going to play three. Okay, because that is a good balance between if one if 
one of you screws us over, you're not going to be walking away with that much money because you're going to be undercutting and have a max of four. So it's either you get three grand and everyone gets three grand, or you screw people over and then you end up getting four grand extra. Okay. I think that's fair because I, it's, it will be then, if it comes again, I am inclined to trust. I want to trust, but also I don't know what happened in round one. And neither, obviously, neither. Do I don't know people. what happened around either. Yeah, I know I didn't play a secret though. Yeah. I am using a secret for this round. Thank you very much. I'd like to bid five thousand. Five thousand. Five thousand dollars. I am bidding two thousand dollars. Two thousand. Two thousand. Two thousand dollars, please. I am in a sticky situation potentially because I used a secret in the first round and I played $2,000. I did that and they were pinned it straight on me and of course they were completely correct to do that. I don't know why Zach entertained the idea of going 3,000 in that room because there's no way that I'm going to go 3,000. Zach said that he was going to do 3,000. Like, there's no way that both of them are going to do 3,000. One of them's doing 1,000. So I hit 1,000 because I knew that. I, ha obviously I, had, to, I had to go 1,000 because I knew you were going to go 1,000. Right. I, I could not trust that situation at all. Six minutes left in the final round. Um, Shub, how are you feeling? How are you sitting right now? Uh, I think I have guaranteed eight. Um, so I'm in a slightly better place than Devin, who is guaranteed yeah. maximum six and only really has one. Uh -huh. So that poor guy, he's he's going to yeah. have to undercut somebody a little bit. Hey, I just want to make sure that I'm not in a situation where I have to undercut. Because last time I had to, because I was with Zach and... Ben and they don't trust each other, so I knew one of them was. Yeah. Yeah. So Alex, you're currently at um. Two I have three higher than Devin. Yeah. So so if you and I end up in the same room, uh, we'll just both go five. That being said, like, if you and I end up in the same room with Ben, all bets are off. I, it's one. Yeah. It's, one. Well, this... it's just like avoiding Ben's room at this point. Yeah. I, I it's I I got in his room twice. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Like, I, I keep getting stuck in his room. And you and me both, man. Devin, how are you? Yeah, how Not are you great? doing? Finally Not great. got on the board. Oh. Not great. Uh, we'll Goodness. see how this goes. Um, yeah, no, 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 my options are very, very limited, so. Devin and Alex just split up, just so that way you guys both can. If we end up in the same room, we're going to get screwed over. So, so yeah, exactly. we should not. And uh, Devin, I will say, I'm assuming that you got screwed by the secret or whatever with me and Shub. So I will, yeah. I will not bring you into, if I end up in last place, I'm not bringing you into the duels. And I would hope that you would do the same for me. Um, yeah. it, if Ben's not we both got the first by that. list, he will be the second. <laughs> Assuming yeah. nobody gives him the token of life. I can't imagine what's, well, he might deal for that though. Uh, no Lux was just kind of wandering around as was I just looking for conversation. I'm willing to try to trust you and hopefully integrate you back into whatever is making everybody not trust you right now. It was a really nice conversation about just, you know, and just engaging with each other. And I feel like we can hopefully be those wandering spirits later on in the game as well. I assume that you did the secret in the first round? I didn't. I didn't. You didn't? That's, that's the problem, did you, yeah. Did you bid... 1,000 in the first round? No, I bid five. Okay. That's um, the problem. That's the problem I've got. I think we should try to find a large group. I, I don't really think that there's much that we can do outside of that. Let's, let's split you up. Okay. One of you goes small. Okay. And one of you goes um, tiny. Can't be tiny, can't be tiny. There's a few people who are already thinking about doing tiny. Shouldn't okay, be tiny. so we need to pick one of you to go small. Um, let's just tell everybody that us three are going small. Okay. 
I think that's the best way. So do we want to try it? And then Kathy gives me and Spicy immunity, obviously. I Are you cool with that, Spicy? Or would you prefer- Yeah, let's, let's all do small and then Kathy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So we're going to go, we're all going to, yeah. Okay. So we're all- Devin, you just have, what you have to know is we're taking up small, so you shouldn't do that. <laughs> I'm stressing out over here. I'm what? Okay. Wait, so, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh my here's, God. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to hopefully be the only three in Small Nation. You will offer up four. If okay. we are the only three, which we'll, yep. we'll pound that, then you will get the win with our money and you can you you can give the tokens to us. Okay. Oh, chill, chill, chill. All right, wait, wait, just like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, do we, do we want to, do we want to okay, do- Sorry, sorry wait, Ben, can I talk with you actually in the Texas office then? Joe, I need to don't worry, don't worry. I, I'm just like a lost little Ben, Ben, we're almost there. We're almost at the finish line. I'm hoping that either Ben or Devin, or whichever one had less than me, I'm hoping I buy more and then I don't get picked by one of them. This is like you have somewhere to be and you have a map and you have a plan and you hit the road and you're excited and you hit every single red light. But, you know, I feel like the dynamic with this group right now is uh, pretty strong. I think that in all of the rooms that I was in with Zach, Leanne, and Devin, I was able to score 5,000. I think there's a decent chance that I won this game. I know that I've learned about Spicy. It's that he is such an intelligent person. He thinks things through so thoroughly. It's just hoping, that's the big thing. You're hoping and plant praying right now that things go well. group. <laughs> the RK6 is back. Are we happy to go with five? I am happy with five. No. There's no difference between me going with one or zero at this point. Do but you think I know not? that I, 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 I think that it doesn't do anything. I think being in this room might save me. All right, we've got Joey. Who's the third? I'm guessing it's gonna be Alex. It. All right, 5k. Are you guys uh, going 5k? We got 5k. Okay, listen, listen. Okay, Shub, I know you screwed other people over, but I'm going 5k because I really want to save Alex. That's yeah, legit no. for me. Like, you know, you know, like, we're like... We're... I was just going with the counter Ben strategy. <laughs> Thank God. Oh my God. I was so scared. I was so scared. We lost Joey somewhere along the way. That's not bad. We're still, because we both have 10 right now. Yeah. That's, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, what we're gonna try to do here, I'm going to submit five, you're going to submit four. So you're okay. gonna get eight from this minus okay. the three, which is just gonna, but okay. hopefully, hopefully we cross our fingers that that's enough for us to manage. What we're trying to do is give you the win. It seems like it probably, the winner is probably gonna be Lux. I feel like that's what's gonna happen, but you know. Hopefully, let's just hope this all goes well. I definitely thought that I could win the game. I definitely started to feel that less so once I wound up in a room with Ben. So where where are you at money-wise in this game? I believe I've got uh, $10, right? 10 no, I've got 11. I think I've got 11. Okay, so I've I, I don't think I can win. Because I think yeah. I've potentially got... I think I've got... Well, I think I've got seven, but I just don't want to come bottom. <laughs> so I'll play five. That's what I'm going to yeah. do. Okay. You play four, right? But if I, if you win on four, like if that 4,000 is enough for you to win, yeah. the deal is, is that you save me with one of those medals. That's fair, it's just, do I trust you to, to do that? And I really want to extend that olive branch and hope that you didn't play the secret in round one. The truth, the truth of the matter is, is I don't think, I think you've got enough money as it is anyway to be safe. I could actually be in danger, though, even if I'm lying right. to so, you. So, so that's why it's tough to believe, right? No, but this is the thing. The most I can have is seven. The least I could have, I think, is minus one. But I still don't the think most that's you could currently The most you could currently have is like 22 right now. 
Yeah, but I don't. I mean, I'm nowhere near that. Or no, no, I'm sorry. That's not true. That's not true. You could have. Right, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing five thousand. I wanted to believe Joey played the secret in round one. That Ben was being honest the entire time, and that I was the one person that believed Ben. Right, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing five thousand. That's my. Decision. I think I'm gonna play one, Ben. Ben said a bunch of stuff like, oh, you could do this and then you'll win. I think that Ben saw me as an easy mark. I basically lost all trust. <laughs> Decision made. You will now reveal the results of the final round. This means that Devin is first duelist, and Kathy, as the first place player, will pick two players to give marks of victory so they are immune from being dueled. Why? Oh my god! Holy cow! So yes! <laughs> oh! Oh! Yes! Ah! I would have to choose, um, of course, Spicy, my bro from another Mo, and then uh, Joey for helping me. Thank you. Much appreciated, mm -hmm. Kathy. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you guys were awesome. Thank you for helping me. You did really good today, Kathy. You did, like, you oh. did really, really good. Yeah, nice job. So me and Joey made an alliance during the Tron. Like, if I tell you not to go to a room, you don't go to that room, and if I tell you go into a room, you go into that room. And Joey's very much like, do this, do this, do this, do that. And it sort of suited me, so I went along with it. Because I think every single room you go into, people are going to try and outbid you, and you're probably going to try and outbid them. And I don't really care. I just want to make sure I'm not in your room. Because your room is going to devolve so quickly because nobody trusts you. So I was really trying to figure out where the top runners were going, and I was trying to throw Ben in that room to just blow up their scores, you know? And I do think, I think Joey's completely screwed me. I think Joey's completely screwed me. I told Ben that uh, if he worked with me and I won, I'd give him immunity. Like, no clue if I'd actually would have given him immunity because I don't really care. Much mm -hmm. appreciated, Kathy. Thank you. You're welcome. You guys were awesome. Thank you for helping me. You did really good today, Kathy. You did, like, you oh. did really, really nice job. I feel like down over my Really well deserved. Really well deserved. Thank you. Now, Devin, you must choose someone without a mark of victory to take to the duel. Ben. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. I'm tired of getting burned. Let's just get it out of the way. Okay, fair enough. I mean, Devin showed no hesitation at all, did he? <laughs> but hopefully, I'll have a few tricks up my sleeve for the duel. It was the casual flex. You're like, oh, like when you're talking about being a TV producer, it's like, I may have been in shows such as, and you're like, pointless. Richard Osmond has a cut. I'm just like, they are big shows in the UK. <laughs> If it helps, I've got a little bit of experience as well on television. <laughs> oh my god! You're oh. out of I'm a two time champion. I, was, uh, I won Jeopardy back in November. Uh, ironically, I was watching Jeopardy on Netflix, and now I've ended up dueling a Jeopardy contestant two times champion. No pressure. Hey, Devin. <laughs> I'm excited. Let's do it. Welcome to the second duel of the Gambit Game. The first duelist, Devin, has decided to face off against Ben. The loser will be eliminated from the Gambit Game. The second duel will be the Traveling Salesman. In Traveling Salesman, Players will try to reach seven continents the fastest. Each player will choose one continent to start in. Starting continents are Africa, Asia, Australia, Antarctica, Europe, North America, and South America. Each continent has an airport with flights connecting it to all the other continents. The player's location will be revealed each round. In each round, players will submit a continent they wish to travel to and select one flight between continents to permanently cancel. You cannot cancel a flight that makes it impossible to visit all seven continents. The travel plans of both players will be revealed. The time the flight a player takes will be added to that player's score. If a player tries to take a canceled flight, 
They remained in the airport they were in, and four hours are added to their score. Flight durations and cancellations be displayed on the arrivals and departures board. Once both players have visited all continents, or player's time is higher than the other player's time to finish, the match will end. The player who visits all the cities in the fastest time wins the duel and will travel on to Trial 3 of the Gambit game. Why do they have, always have to be so complicated? Yeah, this is neat. This is, this, is, this is something new for sure. Um, Maddie, can I ask a question? Uh, yes, you can. So, um, when we, so when you cancel a flight, so he says he wants to travel from Asia to Africa. Yes. And that route is gone. Does he do, does he remain in Asia, or is he still? Yes. He starts, so he has to stay there. So yeah, if either player attempts to a cancel flight, um, including the same round as it is cancelled, the player remains in the continent they started in, and they gain four plus hours to the time. Does each flight have a different time, or are they all the same? No, they're all different timers. So some are more tempting than others, basically, but that doesn't mean that's going to be the best route because they could get cancelled. So I think, like, like, do you want do you want my help? Like, it doesn't really make a difference to me, or you want to do this on your own? I don't necessarily have to listen, <laughs> is what I say. I'm, of course, I'm open to ideas. Sure. Definitely, Antarctica needs to be your starting or your ending point. You can't, you can't be going to Antarctica and then to somewhere else. It has to be your start or your end. I think worst case scenario is that he starts Antarctica and then has to go back through to Antarctica. I would start Antarctica and go to South America. That would be my first move. Because then from South America, you have a one and a three. Those are both good values and you can start blocking those off. So I go Antarctica to uh, South America. I'm actually drawing the world's shittest map as we speak. God, I, do you know what, right? I've got I've got such chills because this is a really good game. And I like the fact I at least like the game. Um, but this is going to be so tense. All spectators leave the main hall. The duel will begin momentarily. Where'd Gavin go? All right here. Before we get started, I've been reflecting a lot on the last week. You know, I, I think one of the things that really I reflected on is is just how, you know, how, how open I am and, and, and how much I'm willing to take people. You know, I, I've never seen myself as the kind of person to to really be in that position and think, you know, ruthlessly. And is this going to be the guy that comes out for a duel, for a win? And... I thought a lot about that, and my answer was, um, I don't think so. I, I don't think that Devin's got what it takes to uh, go head to head in, in this. Hold on one moment. Oh my god. No, I'm nervous. <laughs> oh. oh, here we go. What is happening? Hello, me to introduce myself to you. My name is Demetrius Del Muerto, and you, whatever you, what is your name? Uh, it doesn't matter what your name is. Ben Dahan, Ben Dover, Ben Ten. What you need to know is that this world that you've entered into is unlike anything you've ever seen in your life. We will now begin the second duel, Traveling Salesmen. Devin and Ben both chose to start in Antarctica. Obviously we both went for the Antarctica first strategy, which is what I was hoping wasn't gonna happen. What do I think of this game? It doesn't matter what I think of this game. This isn't even the surface I've scratched with the conflicts that I faced in my career. We will now announce the results of round one. Ben has canceled Africa to Antarctica. Devin has canceled Antarctica to South America. Devin goes to Australia. Ben tried to go to South America, but his flight was canceled. It was interesting because I saw Antarctica and you know, the values placed on those really seemed like the key. And this may have kind of been out of sight if you're not really paying close attention, was the route to Australia and South America. One of the things I wanted to do as much as possible was try to eliminate the shortest routes from Antarctica as possible to force unfriendly um, time limits. 
I had my route set out for my first like three or four turns ready. But the plan went completely out the window. And then it was just like, oh shit, I now I just need to escape Antarctica. Not gonna lie, it was quite a bad start. <laughs> but I don't think it's irretrievable at all. I think you're gonna find uh, roadblocks in your way as well. Devin cancelled Antarctica to Australia. Ben cancelled Australia to Asia. Devin was blocked and Ben travelled to Europe. This is going to be a lot of fun. I, oh, it's been, huh? I saw the scarf in your house there. I got bugs, I got eyes. Right behind your shoulder. Portsmouth, huh? Yeah, best team in the South. I'm sorry? Sort of. I'm sorry? Best, best team I mean, in the I'm South. I'm sorry sort of. because they're garbage. I think Spicy said in the very first game, look, we're going to end up stitching each other up. No one's doing it to hurt anyone. And, and that was a very good thing to say because it's absolutely true. He seems to take it so personally <laughs> that I was just like, wow, I'm just playing a game, but you're, you're, you're taking it to, to a higher level. Another terrible decision that's going to just continue to bite you back. Oh, one year in the FA Cup, oh great. That's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't mean anything to anyone anywhere. You put your hopes and dreams to things that don't matter. And today it comes crashing down. Ben cancels Europe to Australia. Devin cancels Australia to Africa. Ben travels to Africa. And Devin travels to South America. You get COVID yet, Ben? I got COVID about uh, 12 months ago. They had me do a nasal swab. I said, that's not going to do it. I reached into my own nose, pulled it down. It was in my hand, it looked at me and said, I'm so sorry, sir. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to run to all those labs. I'm going to make sure that nobody ever goes through the hurt that you went through before yourself. So you're welcome. I haven't, I haven't had COVID. Um... You're going to wish after this round. It's going to hit hard. It's going to be a heavy, heavy hand. Ben cancels Africa to South America. Devin cancels Africa to North America. Devin travels South America and North America. Devin cancelled Ben's flight and Ben faces another time penalty. What are you thinking about, Ben? Um, I'm just- no, I'm just kidding, it doesn't matter what you think. It really doesn't matter. You have no idea where this is going, so... Again, conversation is worthless here. Cheers, Dom. I face people playing characters or trying to be, um trying to gain an edge any way they can at the poker table. I see it quite often. Um, they actually have a term for it. They call people who try and do that sort of thing, table captains. In a situation like that, where someone's being so loud and being quite obnoxious, maybe, um, it pays to uh, sit back. I wish I could talk more, but this is really thinky. It's really, really thinky. You know, you shouldn't have said that. Well, whether you admit it or not, you're still thinking. You shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't say a lot of things. Really? You, should, you shouldn't have been saying you. You would have been <laughs> very well served just being on mute this whole time. It's not helping. And I'm just not talking about like the duel. I'm talking about like life. Like this is out there forever. Oh, I know. I know. In my experience, the poker players with the most bravado are the most terrible. So let's hope that's not an omen for Devon. Talking about poker, I have a friend here. Doo -doo! It's Lobo. Now Lobo's been playing poker with me for 11, 12 years and basically his job is to rub his nose on the chips when I move all in. Hello Devon! <laughs> I hope everybody at home is watching very carefully and observing a potential breakdown happening in real time. I will now announce the results of the round. Ben cuts North America to Asia. Devon cuts Asia to South America. Ben travels to Asia. And Devin is blocked by Ben and faces a penalty. Let's go! Let's go! Oh man! Now, now, now I get a good, now I get a good bit of mind games back. Devin blocked Ben and traveled to South America. I wanted to create this personality that was going to talk over Ben, that was going to interrupt because I didn't want him to feel confident. Devin cuts Asia to Africa. Ben cuts Asia to Antarctica. Neither route can be cut because otherwise it would create an impossible path. I was a bit worried that, uh, I, you know, I wouldn't necessarily be able to, like, sort of break down the games and stuff like that as I thought I would. And I think I did. I think. Worry? Worry to what? Worry to Ben 10? Chumps like him in Staten Island used to scratch my feet. If I lose, I lose. It's fine. 
But I will do my best to win. We will now reveal the results of round 12. Okay, let's see how this goes. Mm. The only route cancelled this round was Europe to Africa. But this looks like a straight line. I don't think there's any more flights to cancel. Devin traveled to Asia, and Ben traveled to Europe. Since there are no more routes left to cut, we will now have both players travel along the remaining paths. Devin has a final score of 130. Uh, I don't feel like I'm done yet. I feel like I want to adjust my strategy. I feel like I want to be a better team player. And all those things are denied to me if I just lose this one game. You will now complete Ben's route. Ben finishes with 192 points and is the second player eliminated from Gambit game. Winning is subjective. As long as I show up, I do my work, I make him squirm, mission accomplished. It was a shame because I really enjoyed the game. I actually really liked that game, but I wish I could have just played with Devon. I wanted to play a duel with Devon and just wanted to have a fun time. And it just felt uh, like we were fighting. As much as it was a counter against Ben, it was really more for myself. I needed to have that motivation, that confidence, that, you know, that twist of, of who I was going to be for this game in order to give myself a chance to tell myself, you got a shot here. I apologize for all of the pain and suffering I caused you. That's kind of what people pay me for. But this has been a wonderful experience and I wish you all the best. I hope your mothers love you. I hope your fathers give you hugs and kisses and read your bedtime stories. I hope your future generations of children build statues to your legacy and your commitment and your strength internally and constitutionally. It's been wonderful. I don't want to go like this, but that's what happens. That's what happens. Maybe I melted under the pressure. But there you go, that's Gambit game. So good luck to everyone. Fingers crossed. Maybe Lobo will return one day, who knows. Uh, but for now, the reign of chaos has ended. Who do I think will win and who do I want to win? Mm, that is interesting. I'd like to see Spicy win because I think he's genuinely goes around and talks to people and he sees the game the same way as I do in that it's not about, you know, shutting anyone down. It's about look, being open about everyone, treating it as a game. It is a game. I'm not rooting for Joe to win because he screwed me over quite badly. <laughs> as long as like other people are consistently put on notice that my strategies are just like smoking everybody, like it's gonna just be like this round after round, I'm going to be getting immunity. My team's going to be coming in first. You're going to be losing to me. They need to see him for the way he's playing. Until they realize that, then they might all be in a lot of trouble.